it feels like yesterday. That day feels like yesterday. Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? I'm Christine Piper and today is September 11th. 19 years ago today, we had an attack on our nation which transformed America forever. Last year on my blog, I wrote to y'all about 9-11 before and after, meaning how America was before 9-11 and how much and how did America change after 9-11. So much has changed because of September 11th, because of those attacks. And last year I, I reflected on all those changes because last year was 18 years and a whole generation is now grown since that day. So while I discussed change last year, this year I wanted to discuss with you all that is still the same. What hasn't changed since 9-11? And I believe that while yes, a lot did change because of September 11th, a whole heck of a lot stayed the same. We are still, yes, there is still bad in the world. Yes, we still have war. We're, we're, there's always a war going on, it seems, right? We still have war. We still have hate and anger and all kinds of horrible things going on in the world. But 19 years later, there is still something, yes, that is the same. And that is resiliency. We are resilient. We persevere. We continue on. We keep going. And we keep loving instead of hating. And I think that when we were attacked 19 years ago, we saw, and the people who lived through that day will never forget, as the saying goes, because it was such a it was such an impactful experience to live through and transformative. And this is, this is me from, I was in Illinois at the time in college. I knew no one personally in the 9-11 attacks, but I was just your average American on that day. And this is how one average American feels. And I know I'm not the only one. And yes, boy, it might seem like it. It might seem like there are less people and less people every year who remember everything that happened and changed on that day and how we feel and what a day that was. I remember, I remember when I found out, how I found out, where I was, how I spent every minute of that day, who I was, who I was with, and I remember looking out in the night sky on that strangest of strange nights up at the clear starry night with no planes in the sky. And I will never forget all that. I will never forget it, how, how much September 11th changed my life. And as years go by, you know, as years go by, every, there are people who think that, yeah, it's becoming less and less impactful to people's lives because so many years have been removed, but, and they talk about it less and less on the news. And each year, I mean, I was, I watched every year the memorial services and the, saying the 3,000 names and uh, praying and listening to how many presidents we've had now speak. How many presidents have we had now speak on, on that day and pray with us and reflect with us. So, so much has changed and so much is still the same because guess what? We are still here. We're still America, and I'm still sitting here free in my car talking to you. 
because we are still free and we are resilient and we persevere and we keep going in the face of adversity and trauma and tragedy and horror we keep going i would not be staring at my phone talking to the internet land you if it wasn't because i was free and i was allowed to pursue my wasn't allowed to pursue my passion and my art and my writing all of that requires freedom freedom of speech and freedom to be who i am and it's because of america that i that i am who i am and i because i have christine's flirty and dreams and because i want to help you live a because i want to help you get out there and live your very own best life every single day because i'm living i am literally living my very best life right now every single day and that is because of america and i really do believe that it's because of america that i am able to pursue my passions communicating for free with with the world via this phone and this morning if you check my social media i posted a painting that i had done this summer and it it ended up being one of my favorite paintings that i have done so far this year i absolutely love it it's a you can check it out i will show you here at the end i'll uh, post the painting again also if you want to see it on my social media but um, I'll, I'll share it with you again at the end of this so you can check it out and just look at it and see what you think and look into the trees and look into the, to the far sky line of that painting and what do you see? Oh say can you see Are, is the first words of the Star Spangled Banner. The first words of our of our shared song and what do you see what do you see 19 late years later i still see freedom i still see our flag flying high and i still see the best of humanity on the worst of days and 2020 as a whole uh as everyone who lives under the sun has been talking about has been you know quite the year and and we've seen the worst but i also see the best and the only way to keep persevering past all of this is the and the only way to keep keep on going is to keep on rolling no matter what And no matter what kind of strange thing comes for us next to this year, we're still here. I'm still here. There are people out there still living, still persevering, still trying, and still trying to be still trying to be a good people in a world that can be sometimes not good. So this painting, I did it with my nephews over the summer. I wanted to show them how to make an acrylic pour painting and do this messy type of art project where whatever comes out on the canvas comes out. You pour and you let it flow the way it goes. And that's what the art is. And it was a disaster. It, it was, and and it was a disaster. It was a literal disaster because I was up in Chicago away from my art studio and I didn't have enough material. So I had enough to pour like about one inch worth of stuff, on, one inch of paint worth of paint onto 36 by 48 by 1.5 inch canvas. I would, I'd say I probably had enough materials for an 8 by 10 canvas, if that. So I spent 
a hundred dollars on the canvas and uh, you know thirty dollars on supplies and it was a failure it was a disaster it wouldn't pour it wouldn't flow because I didn't have enough liquid so here I thought okay so the old me would have just failed given up cried and thrown the canvas into the trash but I immediately thought what can I learn from this and what can I do to salvage to salvage the canvas and I'm like, I can still make red, white, and blue on top of this. The painting was supposed to be a red, white, and blue painting. So I used all the paint that was on the canvas already as a backdrop, as a foundation, as a first layer. And I just spread it all, used my bare hand and just wiped all this acrylic paint back and forth over and over until I was satisfied with how it spread all over the canvas. Well, what does red, white, and blue turn into when you mix red and when you mix red and blue, you get purple, right? Yeah. So we have a purple background, and I'm really into purple. I just posted a another painting to you guys where. Check it out on my Instagram or my website. Blue, uh, purple, a purple flower painting that I have a story behind. If you want to read it, you can go to my website. And a person there because there's a personal story behind every painting I do. And so I got purple, and purple was the foundation. And and then I painted as it all dried. That first layer dried and set. I then painted a red, white, and blue flag scene with trees and snow and the hilltop, mountaintop, looking out over the valley type of painting. And I titled it, Oh Say Can You See? And I salvaged the painting from being the worst disaster of art of 2020 for me, wanting to throw the canvas to the curb and cry into one of my favorite paintings of the year. And I love that painting. I'm really proud of that painting now. I really like how it turns out. I made it for someone else, but heck, I would love it. I love that painting. I, I, I just, just screams America to me and that's what the person I painted it for had asked me to paint a red white and blue scene because they love America as much as I love America and so they were really happy with the painting I made for them and I was even more happy because they were happy and it only ever happened because of the purple background and my point with all of this is that we're purple. We are a purple people. We're blended. We are a melting pot. We are not red and blue. We're purple because we're all mixed together. So you know that you know that new Memoji thing that the iPhones do? Well, I'm a complete and utter nerd and dork, if you haven't figured out. And I've been playing around with these Memoji things, okay? And I'm like, okay, I have to make my Memoji. It has to look like me. I'm like, okay, so I give it the brown hair, even though I'm mostly gray. And I give it the freckles and I give it the curly hair because my hair poofs out into curled puffs and put it, put the Memoji in a ponytail because my hair is always in a ponytail. And I thought, I love this Memoji. And then I sent it to people and everyone's like, why are you purple? And I'm like, I don't know. I love purple. I love purple so much. I have no idea why. I I have no idea why I chose purple. I just did because I thought it it looked cool. So my emojis, my my emojis purple. My emoji is not black. It's not white. It's not brown, and it's not green, orange, magenta, coral, fuchsia. Whatever color under the sun I think I am, it's purple because I like purple and that's how I see myself. And so I'm purple. 
how I see myself is what is most important in the world. How do you feel about yourself? How do you believe in yourself? How do you how do you go to sleep at night? How are you a good person? So America is purple. We are still a melting pot. 19 years later, we are still one nation and we are still free. I'm still free to paint and write and pursue all the creative passions that are just pouring out of me and share with you what creations I want to share with the world because I'm in America and I don't think I don't think I would have the same experience somewhere else if I was someone else, but I'm purple and I'm American. And that's how I see myself. And I, that's how I see America. I see that we are purple. I see we are, I see us that we all came from amazingly different cultural and diverse backgrounds to blend together into a purple ice cream with sprinkles on top. That's how I see America and throwing in the red, white, and blue on top for, for fun. And, but how I see America is only available to me because I am free to tell you that's how I see myself and how I see America. So 19 years later, while September 11th, before and after, so much has changed. So much has stayed the same that we are still free. I'm still free to tell you that I'm purple because I like to be purple. We're, I, I am f free to play around with fun emojis that people created this fun little thing for us to do on our phones. Because we persevered, we're still here. If there's anything that 2020 has taught in the 19 years that have passed has taught, it's that we need to keep persevering. We need to keep going and we need to, we need to keep going. We need to keep persevering and we need to keep living our lives and we need to be who we are. I have a challenge for you today because, because there is so much hate and sadness and trauma and tragedy going on in the world right now. On this day, on this weekend, on this month, in this month, but most importantly on this day, on September 11th, 2020, I challenge you to reach out to another purple person, to another person of a diverse background, another person who thinks completely the opposite as you, because reach out to that family member that doesn't talk to you anymore because of politics. Reach out to the friend you have that is on the different side of you politically because that's what we do that's what keeps us together and everybody driving wedges between each other and between families and between friends over politics that's not gonna help anything anytime soon it will only drive us further apart and I challenge us to get closer together. I challenge us to take that red, white, and blue liquid paint, pour it all in one big pot and splatter it all into a canvas and make it turn purple. And then we just hang, and then we put the American flag on top and we call it a country. And we sell everything that way and we keep going. We're not perfect, we never have been but we have to keep going and keep trying. Thank you guys for listening. Thanks for watching on this solemn day. By the way, I am not selling that painting. I didn't post it to sell it. It's already sold, it's already given away. It's already it's already out there. I, I didn't post the painting with the intention of selling it. I just thought that, um, I just thought that I wanted to post something patriotic today and that's what came out 
and that's what I wanted to share. But I've already had people reach out to me and want to buy the painting, and I'm I'm very flattered, very flattered that somebody likes it enough that they want to buy it. But it's already it's already at the home of the person who who bought it from me. So so no, none of this was to sell a piece of art. In fact, if you go to my website, you will see that my Etsy shop is completely shut down and I currently have no art for sale. I, my intentions are to open up my little, sh my little, my own little shop online, but I haven't, I have not published that yet. I have no art for sale. I am not selling you anything. I am challenging you to keep living that good life, to keep keep sharing your lives with all the purple people and be purple yourself be blended be be you be you and do something and reach out reach out to somebody today that you haven't spoken to in a long time that you haven't spoken to because of politics that you've been in a fight with or an argument or or because something this year has endangered your relationship with that person in some way that's who you should reach out to today that's who you should call and check up on maybe stop over meet them for coffee drop some drop some flowers off at their house i'm challenging you to do something with somebody that you haven't seen in a long time and as another september 11th comes and goes on this solemn and sad and red, white, and blue, and purple day. Thank you for, thank you for being a good person in this world. Thank you for continuing to try and never giving up and continual perseverance and continually trying. So thank you for watching Christine's Flirting Dreams. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being you today. And may God bless America. Everything about it feels like yesterday. And it's up to us to keep that day alive. The people who do remember. The people who will not forget. The people who were alive on that day need to keep what happened on that day alive for others and up and coming generations to remember.